Today we're in Tennessee with the Tennessee River Monsters and Captain Scott Manning. We came down here to try to catch some blue cats. As you know from several of our videos, we don't have any close to home. and He offered us a trip down here to come and fish with him and we were pretty excited. We uh, see the pictures he posts and he catches a lot of nice fish. So we're going to give it a try today. Uh, what do you think the conditions are looking like? It looks good. I mean, it's a little windy this morning, but we, you know, we came out Monday and it was windy and done real good. So, I mean, we're marking some fish and and uh, he's getting a bite on there. He's got a flathead hitting this one right here. And uh, watch that, see that flathead hitting that rod? And uh, see it? Yep. Yeah, flathead. Um, you know, there's some giants here. I mean, we catch 60, 70, 80 pound fish. Uh, here on right, watch that flathead hit that rod. Uh, you know, it's just being patient and being lucky. You know how it is. You come here one day and you fish one day and not do it, catch a jig, big one, and he's going to ready to take that one right there. Um, come back the next day and catch a giant. So, you know, it's just being patient and, and uh, staying with it. See what happens. <laughs> yeah, I think you're on this one. That's okay, though. Don't worry. We are will. Make or something. That's a real thing. Okay. Real giant, but get the skunk off. Though. Skunked out. Ain't the boat yet. <laughs> Bryce, move that case out of your way on top of that bait tank. Bryce, mm -hmm. move that bait case over. Put it on top of the bait tank. Keith, he'll get you fish for you. Yep. Fishing deep would give you a oh, workout. Yeah. It makes oh, it more yeah. fun. Oh, yeah. Flathead or blue? I'd say probably. He's acting like blue. Flathead, kind of. I thought, but back corner. Yeah, back corner. I think that rod. I think he's hanging up. up. I think he's a little better fish than I thought. Yeah. Oh, nice little flathead. Flathead. Good way to start today. All right. And that was getting hit too. So put that in the rod holder as soon as you can, he. Right, Couple quick picks. We'll get him. Teenager. Back in the water, we, uh, he put us on fish already, and we just got started, so this could be a fun day. Teenager Heath. Is he going to make it? All right, Bryce, where we got? Oh, that. Yeah. yeah, he's wanting to kick, so I'll get him back off. Good job. He was about. ready to go. Yeah, it didn't, didn't buckle the rod hard, but it's happening. I'm going to bring him right to here. Let me get out of your way. Ross? I got you. Just tell me when you start seeing him. Got some. Feels like he's got some good weight to him. Never pulled no drag out, did he? Yeah, he pulled a little bit of drag. Yeah. Much. The He's getting a little lighter now. It's a nice, nice big flat. Oh yeah, no. Oh yeah, nice That's flat head. Yeah, nice flat head. Take him all day long. Yes, we will. Open up for you. Good one. You got right. Second fish, and it got bigger. It's been a. Uh, Hasn't been lights out. We've had some bites, but that's fishing. But when you're catching fish like this, look at me. What you need a bunch of them for? I don't know. What are you guessing him at? He's probably 23. Yeah, I was gonna say 22. he's mid 20s, upper 20s. Yeah. He he's, could. He looks like a 30 pound fish, but I don't think he weighs that much. Yeah. He's all head, no tail. He's a nice fish. Oh yeah. Get him back fish. in here and that's let him good. grow up. We need to catch a few more like this. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. And he's off. Successful release. What about us? Good fish? No. 20 pounder. All right. We take them too. Maybe more. Yeah, it's like he broke. Don't worry about that. That makes life interesting. Yeah. Have you had them break before? Oh, yeah. We've had oh, that thing too high. 
worst part was I wasn't into that rod all that hard. Yeah. Well, there you're just used to get you a new rod. I'm about tired of sending new rods to him. I tell him. He's pulling drag right when he pulled that drag when he broke it. But you won't tell how hard he is now that how that. Yeah, you got no. Well, it's like fighting with the broom handle. <laughs> He's hitting this one back here too now. You got it, Brian. If he goes under. He might be hooked up to that one. I believe Yeah, he this is. fish went clear under the boat. Yeah. Here, I'm gonna drop. Yeah, put your bait clicker on that one. Holy shit. What do you think, our guys? Big old bell, please. It's the back of the boat. Big old male. Well, the Tennessee River Monsters did it again. They put Heath on two flatheads this morning, and that's the first one I've caught. Heath and I switched into the boat. Back of the boat's blessed. That's just the way it always is with us. But uh, no, these boys are doing a good job of putting us on fish. And that's a pretty nice flathead. We'll get him back in the water. There you go. And uh, let him grow up. They've got a good flathead hole. There's, keep telling us there's big blues up here, and that's what we're looking for. And we'll see what happens. How are you? Nope, that's a good one, guys. Nice fish for the 30. He's over 30. What'd you say? We ain't marking none either, but we've caught three. Broke a hundred dollar rod. You're pressing your hand. Come on, guys. Hey, feel my pains, guys. It happens, man. Come on. There we go. That's the best part of catching them right there, mm -hmm. watching them, watching them go. It's like a smaller one. It's a blue. Oh my gosh. Told you. I can tell by the way this is swimming. First blue of the day. Got a dink now. <laughs> First blue. Hopefully they get bigger now, but brook or streak and not having a blue in the boat. I'm gonna get some of this fresh bait out, Bryce. Oh yeah. Swing around to you. Get over there, Bryce. I had to swing around to you. You got him away from over. Put the bait click around, you're good. You set the boat. Oh, there he goes. Pull a little drag, Eddie. No, I got my thumb in him. He said I thought I had a stick. Blue. But it's almost got to be a flathead the way you didn't know he's on there. It's got to be a flathead. It's going straight down. It's not going to the side at all. I'm going to let him come up slow. He's a perfect little area flathead. You're fine, don't move. Oh, yeah, nice fish. He's, he's a... Live bait flathead. Well, that's my number two for the day. Uh, six fish total. Heath's up to four, I'm up to two. These boys know what they're doing. You get a chance, you need to come down here and fish with Tennessee River Monsters and Scott Manning and Bryce. This is a good time. Good time. All you, brother. I've got to get a bait on the side. Well, our trip to Tennessee was well worth the drive. For starters, Jason caught his personal best flathead. And then all the other fish we caught were pretty nice. I think the smallest one we caught was maybe 15 or 16 pounds. And the one Jason caught was in the upper 30s. So 
it was a great day of fishing and anytime you go out there thinking you're going to catch some blues and the flatheads just start firing out of nowhere you can't beat that it was a lot of fun one of the best things about going out there and fishing with tennessee river monsters is you do nothing we're used to going out and catching bait and getting everything ready all we had to do was get in the truck and drive out there he has bait ready he has rods for you and that's something you'd expect with a guide but it's it's great you just show up you meet him at the boat ramp and it's time to go fish we'd also like to give a special thanks to the anderson county board of tourism they put us up in the comfort inn so thank you for that and if you want to book a trip with tennessee river monsters and captain scott manning i'll put the info up right after this please visit their website give their facebook page a like and get out there and go fishing with them